point lead and won that game going away last year. So this is the final tune-up for Wichita State before conference play begins. And dating back to last year, Oklahoma State has won nine in a row. They were, I think they were. There's Cunningham guarded by Dexter Dennis and big jump step through the lane, had to give it up. Late in the clock now though, Cunningham's got to go. Dexter Dennis has his hands full this afternoon. Foul, was it on Odessa? Yes, it was. Yeah, they, I, he reached a little bit, didn't look like there was much contact. Normally when you have one fewer officials, there'll be fewer calls than when you have three. Flavors the well-traveled three-point mark. Thank you, Shane Dennis, Mo Desi driving, finishing with a nice little reverse layup. Watch this matchup right here. Dexter Dennis guarding the uh, AP All-American, preseason All-American. He's in there, and now Isaac Brown has a full complement of players for the first time this season. Cunningham for three, wouldn't go, wouldn't go. Weak side rebound in a hurry, Bryce Williams. Cunningham on Udeze, couldn't finish. Trey Wade with a rebound, nice defensive wall off by Udeze. And Udeze did a nice job of altering that shot, that left-handed shot by Cunningham. Tyson Etienne calling for a high ball screen. Good job by Cunningham to Poor Bear Chandler checks in along with Clarence Monzi Jackson and Poor Bear Chandler gets the buzzer beating layup attempt or did it. That's big guys can. And Cade Cunningham yeah. comes back in to greet him. You wanted to play in the big time? Okay. Here's be careful what you wish for. Not the best of screen set out high by Cunningham. And a little floater in the lane is so he passes the ball. There's a nice block that time by Keelan Boone, I believe. And an angle Caleb. Caleb Boone. Angle three by Walker wouldn't go. Shockers come away with it in a hurry. And Craig Porter Jr. I'm pivoted to his right, pivoted back to his left, and put it over the rim for a nice bucket. Cunningham. Now Porter will reset the offense, working on Cunningham. Steps through. And OSU, by the way, picked to finish seventh in the Big 12, for what that's worth. Trey Wade off the inbound. Squeezed the trigger and... Couldn't find the range from the right baseline and likely a defense and that time Oklahoma State got an easy one because the Shockers didn't match up quickly enough on the defensive end. The guy they call Ice likely has six here in the first half. OSU retakes the lead. Dennis a conditions only game right at eight a game. So there's plenty of help. They share the basketball. They do a nice job of, of getting the ball to the open man. Likely to trigger it in looking for Cunningham. And Cunningham can't find the range. Selfish passer. Gilbert made him pick up his dribble, made him give it up to Anderson. Now Cunningham has it back late in the shot clock. Anderson with three on the clock hits. Tien started back door and then he stopped. And so Trey Wade threw it back door. If you start back door, you got to keep cutting back door. Cunningham working on Dennis. And player on the opponent, and uh, he's doing a good job so far on Kate Cunningham. Gilbert with a lightning quick move to the back. Rondell Walker with a tough take to the basket. Couldn't finish, but an offensive rebound. I'm sure that's something Isaac Brown will bring up at halftime. And Williams collects the rebound up ahead to Cunningham, working on Dennis. Gives it up again. And a straightaway three is... Trevin Wade whips one down into the lane off the fingertips of Poor Bear Chandler. Yeah, Poor Bear Chandler was wide open, but uh, the defense was so big on Trevin Wade, he had a hard time finding him there. North Carolina and a lot of former Shockers probably still having nightmares about Jawan Evans, Bob. Yeah, John Jawan <laughs> Evans dropped a high number after that free throw, but they're going to drop back in a man-to-man, -man, it looks like. Trey Wade with a cold-blooded step-back three wouldn't go down. Shot clock is off. Cade Cunningham with just five first half points. And he hooks one. For their fans to come up here, an easy drive for our fans to go down there. And to be technical, Wichita is closer to Stillwater than the two. One, one, three. All the starters for Oklahoma State in there now. Flavors, their three-point shooter's been kind of quiet. He's only taken. 
Cunningham late in the clock. Pitches in the corner. But we we play on as far as who it touched it last. And a lob underneath for Mikeley. Almost caught the Shockers napping off the inbound, but he couldn't quite beat Dexter Dennis to the basket. Flavors for three wouldn't go. That's his first attempt. Bilal with a rebound. Etienne with a transition three. And there's your offensive rebound you've been looking for, Bob, by Bilal, but he just shot put it one over the basket. Well, he put it up with his left hand on the follow and just kind of fanned on it, went all the way over the basket. Good hustle, though, by Johnson. Little crossover dribble, got a wide open 16-footer, but just off the rim. And Cunningham splits a double. Cunningham cut off again, had to give it up. Every time he passes the ball to the perimeter, you have to think it's a win. And there's an elite. Right now, the Cowboys are trying to figure out the shocker zone. Cunningham was calling for it, posting up Dennis. Now Flavors with a teardrop, wouldn't go with a tap. I don't think Isaac Brown wants him to shoot that right now. but That uh, was about 27 feet. That was lengthy. There's a difference between hitting him in practice and hitting him in the not. A basket by Moncrief marks the biggest lead of the game for either team. Forced by Jackson, and he got his first basket of the game, his first field goal attempt of the game, Monzi Jackson. Yeah, nice bucket that time by Jackson, driving and finishing. Good steal that time. It was either Etienne or Jackson getting his hand on that one. Gilbert cornered three, draws a foul. Average, but as you mentioned earlier, it only took him 91 seconds to get 13 against ORU, so don't blink. Yeah, don't uh, don't fall asleep on guarding this guy. They've been struggling from the floor recently. OSU has one of their last seven from the field, oh. and, but he hasn't made a three yet today. And that's what he's known for. Council with a the COVID protocol. Uh, most schools are not announcing why players are missing games because of COVID. Nice. Five point Oklahoma State lead. Gilbert blew by then. Uh, Layup that time by Anderson. Well, you never see that. Somebody able to go coast to coast, unimpeded, but he took advantage. Well, we talked about that in the keys to the game, you know, transition. Now Cunningham posting up Udeze. Interesting matchup. Council over to help. Nice Behind the back pass, stolen away by Dexter Dennis. Yeah, that's the first careless pass I've seen him make today. Kind of a, a behind the back pass that Dexter Dennis intercepted. Nice and shot here in the second half. Still has it likely for three. Else. Gilbert didn't get all the way to the rim. Council with the catch working on Cunningham. Didn't get the call and Cunningham walled him off. Yeah, Council forced it up into Cunningham looking for the call, but no call that time by Brett, Brett Smith underneath the basket. And Moncrief knifes in, lays it in, and it's fouled. And then Dexter Dennis can't believe it. Yeah, Udeze was trying to draw the charge that time on Cunningham. Didn't get the whistle, so that left Moncrief wide open coming from the weak side. Watch Udeze jump in here to draw the charge. Looked like he was outside of the restricted area, but Jockers are going back to man-to-man. -man. And Dexter Dennis, when they have, has had the assignment. There's his first shot attempt in the second half between the shot and the game clock. And boy, you never heard 525 louder. Cade Cunningham just content to dribble it down. He's going to take this shot here. Over Dennis, hits. His first basket of the half is a three right in Dexter Dennis's face.